It's a hearty soup, perfect to fuel your family before trick-or-treating or to warm up with after. Dinky Weissblad, the diva of deliciousness, is here to show us how to make Pam's country ham and potato soup. Tinky, yes. always love to see you. Likewise, Danny. You're dressed as a witch, but you're not a scary witch at all. I'm a, I'm a good a nice witch, person. as Glinda would yes, say. Yes, yes. From Wicked. Okay, so now where do we start? So this is good because I, I have a friend, a Facebook friend, who posted yesterday, what percentage of the Halloween candy do you eat yourself? And there were some scary statistics there. So the idea to me is that you fill up on something nice and hearty, and then you're a little bit less likely to eat all the candy. Yes, you're negotiating with your stomach candy to eat the candy. Is for the children. Well, that wasn't my dad's philosophy oh. growing up, but <laughs> maybe now it will be. So this is from my dear friend, Pam Gary. Hi, Pammy. And it's a really nice soup. So we start by sauteing some leeks. It's not, I mean, speaking of the candy, it's not the least fattening soup that you ever saw. But it's better. But it's good. And it's full of fall flavor. See, we, we have some bacon fat here. So I'm adding a little more bacon what fat. What is bacon fat? I've never seen that it's before. What happens? Have you ever cooked bacon? Uh, yes. Mostly so, turkey bacon growing up, though. So I didn't get the full oh, effect. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> or you're so kosher. I don't yes. know which. So um, bacon is very fatty. So what it does when it cooks is you end up with your bacon. Here's the bacon. Oh, that's what bacon is. And um, then you it releases all its fat. So I don't always save all of it, but for this particular soup, you're actually using it as a grease. So now that we've done our leeks, we're gonna add a little flour and that's gonna make a roux, R-O-U-X. You know a roux? I know it's a French word. It's a French roux that means you're thickening something with flour. Oh. And we would normally be doing this for about a minute. Why don't you stir for a minute? Cause I just realized that I forgot something. Uh, I'll be honored. I'll be stirring away the roux as you just learned everyone. Let's remember that yes. word, R-O-U-X, as Tinky has coached us. Oops. Oh. It's a Halloween full of spook. We lost the whisk for a second. A little, little prank for you. The haunted whisk. Yes, haunted whisk. Okay, now I'm pouring in some chicken stock. That's what I kind of forgot. A lot of different fats going in. they got the, the bacon fat, the chicken stock. Well, the chicken stock is pretty lean. Well, that's good. We need something to be lean in here. Yeah, because we're... And then we're going to add cream, so... Okay, can I remove oh, the whisk or you want to keep it in there? Oh, well, you might just stir a little. Okay, you got it. If you would, please. Ordinarily, you're going to add the stock slowly so that the roux gets time to thicken it. But we're being on TV. Okay. This is true, we are Next, on TV. Next, I have just boiled some potatoes in little tiny pieces. So I'm putting them in. So this becomes the main frame now. We're, this is the this real is dispatch a, As you can now. see, this is an extremely hearty soup. So we're just here, I'm gonna move my potatoes closer. That would have been a good idea, huh? It's okay, we're going the distance. And I'm keeping the potato water because we're gonna add a little bit of potato water to our soup. That adds a little more flavor to it? It does. So many different liquids we're adding. I like that. Yeah, because it's going to cook down. But luckily, I have some made, so you don't have to worry too much. Oh, we'll pretend we added them all. Because we're going to add some ham. It is called ham and potato soup. So this is not, a, this is not going to be for people who don't eat pork. Mm. Between the ham and the bacon, you're just there. <laughs> and then we're going to cover that. We're going to cook it for half an hour. And on what heat? I don't want to lose. Well, our what we do is whisk. you bring it to boil. <laughs> I know it, it's our haunted whisk, everyone. The Live whisk television. Whisk is haunted. <laughs> um, so I'm going to move it out of our way. I'm going to bring the final product, and then we add some more stuff. More liquid stuff. Yeah. You know what? We're just going to pretend. We'll put it in a bowl so you can see it in a minute. Beautiful. I'm bringing over the cooked soup. This is the finished product. Gently. I'm going to help you there. Yes. Then, it's nice and warm. We add a cup of milk and cream to taste. This is cream that was in the freezer, so it's like clotted cream. Is that how you want it? No, you not necessarily. It just happens to be what I have, but it'll unclot as it hits the hot soup. I okay. think that's probably enough cream. It looks pretty creamy. Now I'm just going to take the bottom part of the whisk. Because the whisk the obviously whisk. doesn't like to be... It's the headless whisk yeah. for Halloween. No, or normally we would cook this a little longer, but I'm going to give you a tiny taste to see what you think. It'll I'd still be it. fine, not cooked a little longer. Yes, hopefully our, our spoon does not break. I, it's really hard to break a ladle. <laughs> I, I can't promise that I won't. Okay, I'll grab a spoon. Oh, I have one right out. Oh, Tinky, and I just think ahead. for the final, of course, put a little... Because you don't have enough... Bacon and ham? 
Yeah, we need just to make a little some bit. Wait, we cooked the bacon, so yes. I know it's not kosher. It's not halal. It's, okay. it's just. It's not. But it's very hearty and it <laughs> looks delicious. It, okay. it okay, does. Okay, see what you think. It's, it's great. kind of fall tasting. The leeks really help. What's not to like about bacon and ham in a soup? And le leeks. Don't forget the leeks are and local. And the leeks. Yeah, the and local the leeks. And potatoes are from my farm share. So I do. And the bacon is local. That's what we like. As long as it's local, it's okay if it's unhealthy. As well, long as it's, it's not local. as healthy as eating all that candy and not anything with, with substantialness. Yes, at least this has one whole vegetable. I don't think substantialness a is a word. It's, it's okay. Um, it's we'll, Halloween. We'll, it's Halloween. We have a spooky whisk and, and spooky words. And we're coming back with... Yes. Something actually that could be a Halloween treat. Little, little whoopee. Make some we're pumpkin theme. We're going to be making whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> All nice. right. <laughs> we'll have this for you on My Mass Peel, the recipe, and then we'll be making some whoopee, as she's saying, coming up on Mass Peel.